Jill just received $40. The number of dollars she has left, y, after x days, is approximated by the formula y is equal to 40 minus 2.5x. Graph the equation and use the graph to estimate how much money Jill will have eight days later. So let's just make a table of x and y values, and then we can use that table to actually plot the graph and then ask us to do everything else they want us, how much money she'll have after eight days. And we can actually just put that right in the equation. We might as well do that. So we're doing numbers of days. We're not going to go back in time. She starts with $40. So we can start with zero days. So zero days. So she just received $40. You don't even have to look at the equation here. What's zero days after that? How much money will she have? Well, she hasn't had a chance to spend it yet. So you could just. Think about it, she'll have $40. Or you could look at the equation and see that the equation verifies this. When x is 0, so the y value is going to be 40 minus 2.5 times 0, which is just 40, because that part right over there is 0. So at time, at 0 number of days, she will have $40. Now let's do, we could do one day later, but then we're going to have these decimal points in here. So we always, so that this part of the equation always ends up with clean numbers, let's multiply it by multiples of 2. So then at two days, after two days, what, how much money will she have? Well, it's going to be 40 minus 2 times, or I'll do in the same order, minus 2.5 times 2. 2.5 times 2 is 5. So 40 minus 5 is $35. After four days, it's going to be 40. Let me do this in a different color. So when I plot the points, you see where I got my information from. After four days, she's going to have 40 minus 2.5 times 4. 2.5 times 4 is 10. So 40 minus 10 is 30. You see, every two days that goes by, she is spending $5. $5 every two days, or $2.5 every day. And you actually see that right over here. She is spending, that's a negative sign, $2.5 every day. Every time you increment x by 1, $2.5 goes away. Let's keep going. So then after. I look for another color here. After six days, it's going to be 40 minus 2.5 times 6. 2.5 times 6 is 15. 40 minus 15 is equal to 25. Then finally, we can do after eight days. After eight days, it is 40. She'll have 40 minus 2.5 times 8. 2.5 times 8 is 20. So 40 minus 20 is $20. So we actually answered her question. Our estimate for how much money Jill will have eight days later is actually $20. But let's do the first part. Let's actually graph the equation, see it visually. So let me draw some axes here. This will be a hand-drawn graph, but I think it'll get the job done. So let's make that our y-axis, or in this case, it's the number of dollars she has. And let's make this my x-axis. This is our x-axis. And we only need to focus on the first quadrant, because at least in this context, she won't have, we're assuming she won't have a negative number of dollars, so the y values will be positive. And we assume that the days are only going to be positive. We're not going to deal with negative time. So the x values are only going to be positive. So we're only going to be operating in the first quadrant. So that's all I have to draw. And so she starts off at $40. So let me, let me mark off the y-axis. Let me mark it off in increments of 10 first. So this would be $10. This would be 20. This would be 30. This would be $40. And then I could do the, the 35, the 25, the 15, and then the 5. And then let me mark off the days. So this is, let me do it. I'll do it in that same yellow color. So this is after, this is after two days. This is four days. This is six days. This is eight days. We could keep going if we like. So after two days, she after sorry after zero days. So this right over here. After zero days, she has forty dollars. So that's this point right over here. That's that right over there. Then after two days, she has thirty-five dollars. So after two days, she has thirty-five dollars. Two in the x direction. Then we go up thirty-five. So that's that point right over there. Then after four days, she has thirty dollars. Four days, thirty dollars. You go x four. Remember the days are in x, or, or x are the days. Actually, you mark it. These are days, and these the y-axis is the dollar axis. So after four days, she has thirty dollars. After four days, she has thirty dollars. Then after six days, I'm gonna do the same color. After six days, she has twenty-five dollars. So x x coordinate is six, y coordinate is twenty-five. And then finally, after eight days, she has $20. Eight days, $20. Eight, she has $20.
And so we plotted those points, and we could connect them. We could actually just, if we had a nice ruler, we could just connect two of those, and we would have the line. But our line looks something, let me do this in a new color. Our line would look something like, our line would look something like that. That shows how much she has after every day. And we're done. We've graphed the equation, and we know she'll have $20 left after eight days.